Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Another beautiful day here. So if you can't seem to stop fear coming into your mind, it could be many different types of fears, or maybe it's one really big specific one. There's a lot of fears that people hold about a lot of different things that can overpower you. and consume you. It literally will take you over if you let it. The thing you've got to realise about fear is willpower won't take it away. No matter how much willpower you try to apply to it, push it away, force it down, try to pretend it doesn't exist, it won't work. What ends up happening is um, it just becomes a battle and it's a battle against yourself. And the problem with that is that it doesn't achieve anything. More often than not, it just makes it worse. It makes the fear worse, it stresses you out and uh, nothing's accomplished. And then at some point you'll just be so sick of it that you'll probably just explode because it literally drives you mad. And the thing about fear is, it's so destructive. You know, it can literally hold you hostage to your life. It's very sad. It can really stop you from doing almost anything that you want to do, regardless of what the fears are. Some are small and some are massive. Some people have multiple fears end up becoming a prisoner, a prisoner in your own mind. Fear is probably one of the, um, the strongest and most powerful emotions that we can experience. But when you really look at it, what you tend to find is the thing that you're afraid of is actually not as bad as it seems. Or Maybe it's something that's happened, you know, a long time ago, but you haven't released it. So anytime something similar happens or you see a certain person, it brings that fear back, takes you over again because you haven't allowed that emotion to pass through you. And what happens is you, um, you live basically in the shadow of your past. But if you live in the shadow of the fear of your past and think that everything is going to go wrong, it will go wrong. That's exactly what will happen. Because you're bringing and focusing that amount of emotion and intensity into your awareness, into your consciousness at all times so that is what's going to manifest into your world fear will attract fearful things so we're going to talk about resisting the emotion and resisting the fear when it arises and overcoming the fear so the more that you resist that you're feeling fear, you try to push it away or you try to stuff it down or you get angry or you try to fight with it. That won't work. Just end up creating more fear for yourself. So accepting the fear is the key to overcoming the fear. So say for instance, you start to get afraid of something what you want to do is step back and be aware that you're afraid. That's the first thing. And once you're aware that you're afraid, then you want to take a deep breath. And as you're breathing in, you say, I feel afraid. And as you're breathing out, you say, I release this fear. 
and do it as many times as you need and you might find a really big resistance to it in the big you might feel like you just don't want to do it or you can't do it and your mind is fighting yourself the emotion is fighting you that is normal but if you keep doing it eventually you'll feel a shift within you and you'll be able to let it go and release it. And when it arises, don't judge it, don't fight with it, don't blame it, don't try to analyze it. Just recognize it as a fear. You don't need to know what the fear is about. You might already know, but you don't have to know. Just say, okay, I feel afraid and I'm going to breathe in, I feel afraid, and I'm going to breathe out and release. And you can say that to yourself in your mind as you're doing it until you feel that shift. And what is happening is instead of you pushing it away or fighting with it, you're allowing it to come up so that you can then release it down, release it out, sorry. And what you'll start to realize is the fear is passing through you instead of getting trapped inside you. And that makes a big difference. Now, depending on how ingrained it is or how big it is will depend on how many times you would need to do it but you just keep doing it keep practicing it even if you need to do it 50 times a day do it so that nothing is getting trapped and then as you do it any other fears will come up behind it and um, you just work on it that way what you've got to realize that nothing can change until you change your attitude about it, until you start to welcome it, instead of getting angry with it, or being afraid of it, or fighting with it, until you welcome it and say, okay, here you are again, come up, I'm going to release this. You'll start to pass it through you. But to remember, that no matter what you're afraid of, we live in a dangerous world. We always have, and we always will. Nothing is going to change that. You go out, there's danger everywhere. It always has been that way, and it always will be. But you don't let that stop you living your life. If you go for a walk, you will also see there's beauty, there's harmony, there's creativity everywhere. So just shifting your attention from the danger to the other side will change your mindset about how you feel about it. Trying to control everything in your life the way you want it to be will manifest great fear. Allowing things to unfold in a flow takes away the need to control and takes away the fear. The thing you need to remember is that we are never, ever, ever at any point in control of our lives. That's an illusion. Anything can happen at any time. We have no control over it. It's this need for control that manifests fear. If you do that, it will bring you into deep despair. So try and step back from yourself and release the control. If you can only realize the power of your intention and focus is what you are creating into your life. The fears are pushing them away. Work with it, welcome it. 
say hello, here you are again, make friends with it, and it will change, you will change. This planet that we live on has gone along every single minute of every day without us controlling it. And it will continue to do so regardless if we are here or not. Albert Einstein said, do you want to live in a world where I see it as friendly or do I want to live in a world that I see as hostile and I'm afraid of it? Because that simple statement sums up exactly what I've spoke about today. Your focus of intention will create what manifests in front of you. Whatever you decide, if you go out in your world and you decide my world is hostile, that's exactly what you're going to find. If you go out and you say, I live in a friendly world, I don't have any fear, I flow with life, that is what will flow into your life. The most important thing to realize is that fear is not located outside of you. It's coming from within you. And it's not about what might appear on the outside. You are doing it. You are creating it from inside. So nothing is going to change until you decide to change it. Good luck with the exercises. Until next time, take care.